Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go through some supplier related reports, just like I did when we finished the customer module. So we have gone through, let's just click on suppliers. We've gone through adding suppliers to the supplier module, viewing their accounts, editing their accounts and posting supplier invoices. Now let's just look at a, a few reports. As mentioned previously, these reports are not going to show too much detail because we haven't put that much data or, or information onto QuickBooks. Um, but they're worth looking at now instead of later on in the course. So let's go to reports and recommended. You may find that recommended is highlighted already. And let's do A slash P aging summary. This is your age creditors report. It will show you everything that you owe to your suppliers and if it's due or if it's overdue and how overdue by. So we have our two suppliers, Sarah's Furniture, we owe 250, it's currently in terms, and Staples, we owe 30 pounds or $30, and it's currently in terms. These columns will show us that the invoice is overdue by one to 30 days, overdue by 31 to 60 days, or overdue by 61 to 90 days, and then 91 days plus. So we currently owe £280 to all of our suppliers, but we're currently in terms. Let's go back to reports and let's look at management reports and let's do the expenses performance this time for, for this year. We can do this quarter, this month, this week, and there are lots more options if we go down. But let's do this year, click view. and the report will load up. Hopefully these videos will give you some insight into how important it is that information is entered correctly onto QuickBooks or any accounting software because the reports at the end are only as accurate as the data put in. So let's go down. Just like the sales report we had, we have a contents we have a profit and loss. Okay, here's a less detailed um, aged creditors analysis. We have our bills and the amount we owe. And then at the bottom we have expenses by supplier. We have staples £30. The reason why Sarah's furniture is not appearing is because we put that to furniture. Um, which is an asset co code, not an expense code. So that's the report. Obviously, they're a lot more detailed and have a lot more information on the more information you have on QuickBooks. But that's just a couple of reports that hopefully will help you use the features more on QuickBooks. From this point on, the videos are going to differ slightly because the customer and supplier modules are probably the most basic modules and the most used on QuickBooks for any business. In the next video, we're going to look at the banking side of things, recording expenses that don't come through supplier accounts, such as bank interest, say, bank charges, perhaps small payments you make with card or with cash that you don't get an invoice for. So we'll look at those sort of expenses and also journals and the chart of accounts. Near the end of this course, we will look into bank reconciliation and look into the VAT aspect of QuickBooks. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, there'll be links to go to the next video. I would like to say if you have any questions, just drop me an email, info at bpfs online.com. I do ask that you make a donation through my website um, before dropping me an email. The reason being is I get stacks of emails from people that view my videos. I've got a million plus views now and people view these 
videos, have questions, they drop me an email um, and I end up having lists of emails to reply to. Um, unfortunately, I cannot do that all day. I need to provide a living. So please make a donation if you're going to drop me an email. But thank you for watching and please continue with this tutorial.